Yeah, today we're going to be talking about the skills I learned and the accomplishments I've achieved in my second year as a developer. You can do quite a bit in just one year, and you'll see a little bit of what I was able to do and how that's helped my career in this last 365 days. <laughs> I can't count the number of times people have asked me, hey, Dylan, where's a good place to host my my node application, my web server, so that I can put it out there on the web? Well, might I recommend webdoc.io? You can check them out at webdoc.io, coincidentally. It's a server platform built for PHP, Node.js developers that are set up, ready, and go. And it doesn't matter if you code in Ruby, Perl, Python, they're developer first, got a lot of resources. And not only that, it's they have uh, custom pricing as well as low cost pricing as low as four dollars a month you can get it even cheaper with the coupon code that's in the description below check them out at webdoc.io so let's start with the skills because a lot of people usually are curious more so about technical skills i will say that this year i did not focus on upping my technical skills more so than what i needed to use for the most part at work and sort of going in that direction because I wanted to focus more on higher level items and we're going to talk a little bit about what those are as well as what I'm calling accomplishments and things that I I guess accomplished this year. So in terms of skills, first and foremost, the the framework Angular. Uh, Angular 2 plus is how I like to say, right? So I uh, they're currently in Angular 6. This is something I hadn't worked with before. I work with it every day. You know, I I rarely ever use the term master, but I would say I'm very proficient in Angular and vice versa TypeScript. I am a huge TypeScript fan. The, the ability to assign um, types, even if it's just in your IDE and JavaScript and the functionality that it gives you, I've, I've uh, loved, loved, loved diving in TypeScript. SAS is another thing which I wasn't really using before and I've grown to love working with SAS, which is, um, I forget what the abbreviation stands for, but it's essentially CSS that allows um, mix-ins and nestings and variables and things like that. But uh, the nesting is really what I like more than anything else. View. View is something that I've recently started working in. This is probably the one major item that I've learned outside of work that I learned for me, right? Um, I couldn't help myself. Uh, I wanted to play around in a new JavaScript framework and View happened to be it. I really like Vue. I'm, I'm looking to build some projects at work and then I'm trying to convince some people that, hey, let's let's just do a little Vue. Uh, so uh, I, gave a, I gave a presentation not too long ago for a small little project, a, a tester project to showcase some of the attributes of Vue. Bootstrap 4 is something that uh, if we want to count that in the skills and technologies is uh, something I wasn't familiar with. I've always had used Bootstrap 3, but started using Bootstrap 4 really like bootstrap for the most part although i i do advise to not using it just because a lot of people it hinders them more than anything else and that's that's for a separate video but i will say uh css uh do i have i've known css less more than last year of course i have but this year specifically i really understood the fundamentals of css to a degree that i had had not before i greatly improved my css skills as well as um start using css grid which was something i really use now all the time so um in terms of skills those are the major ones that i have in just one year time sort of become familiar with i would also say that um some tools that i've become a little bit more familiar with with consuming not necessarily uh, integrating is uh, Jenkins, which allows us to see deployments and things like that. Swagger, which allows us to see API documentations and essentially do uh, calls to get responses like you would with Postman. VSTS, which is uh, Visual Studio Team Services, which is sort of Microsoft's version of Jira, if you want to think of it like that. And then test-driven development, which is a more high-level high item of how you might go about writing your code. These are all the skills and, and tools that I've spent the last year learning and using. And, you know, what is that, about 10? So not too bad, really. And one of, one of the things is that I'm very grateful for is that, and it's the first thing that I have on my accomplishments, is about a year ago, I accepted my second salaried uh, programming role. And I happened to come on a very intelligent team and a uh, very passionate teams as well as a, a tech lead who's very knowledgeable who turned me on to a lot of things and and i'm very grateful 
for the people around me that have helped me grow, right? Does that mean it didn't take hard work and, you know, I didn't put in the hours? Of course not. But I'm very, very happy that they allowed me to, that I became part of the team. And one thing I will say that sort of got eliminated, and this is a process of, I think this is something that's pretty common for a lot of people, but I think this is an accomplishment, as crazy as it sounds, is that I really have eliminated that imposter syndrome uh, for many reasons. I think when I first took the role and the future roles that came my way, understanding that at any time I've ever accepted a role, I've had other offers. And it's kind of one of those things where I feel like you can't trick too many people at the same time and just understanding my value. So that was something that I found sort of unique as because I remember my very first programming job, I had a ton of imposter syndrome and it slowly whittled away, came back, slowly whittled away. But I feel pretty good now. So accomplishments, right? We already talked about getting my second job. I worked on a hundred different algorithms, which is something I was really 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 fun time of mine which i consider an accomplishment but i released on the youtube channel over 100 tutorials over 100 videos whatever you want to call them some are tutorials some are videos exactly like this software related videos i also got two certificates this year the um, certified internet web specialist uh, CIW uh, advanced HTML5 and CSS3 uh, certificate as well as the site development associate that was something I went out of my way and got two certificates I also built four Udemy courses two on angular one on JavaScript and the 100 algorithm challenge which is a hundred algorithms that I solved to prepare me for potentially job hopping and making more money and just becoming better. And honestly, I, I, I highly recommend it. If you're interested in any of the courses, there's of course links in the description. You can get them for relatively cheaply. I also built three courses for scrimba.com, one on JavaScript, one on modern JavaScript, ES 2015 plus, ES6, and then one on TypeScript. Oh, and then I, I forgot about these, but I built a bunch of algorithm videos for them about a year ago as well. So I built courses for Scrimma.com, which is a wonderful online um, education platform as well. I also read thousands of pages of of books. I'm, uh, I'm currently reading Clean Architecture right now, as well as Code Complete, but they're both very good books. But uh, The Clean Coder, Cracking the Coding Interview, The Complete Software Developer's Career Guide, Clean Code. If you're interested in any of these books, I recommend them all. Clean code is, or code complete rather, the bottom one. It's kind of dry, but as well as cracking the coding interview, but all the other ones are must reads as far as I'm concerned. And if you're interested, there's a link in the description, all of them. But I read several thousand pages of book. And by the way, I only started reading books this year. I would say probably about four to five months ago. So I'm reading about a book a month, which is, you know, pretty good. I also collaborated with several software channels to not only get my name out there, but to, to do good, some good, right? Some, to do some, you know, I, I consider when I go and I collaborate on the Free Code Camp YouTube channel, I consider that contributing to open source, right? You know, because I'm taking time out of my day to go and create content for their platform. And yeah, I'm benefiting, but really at the end of the day, what I want to do is provide value. So I, can, I contributed to several software YouTube channels. Uh, some that come to mind is the Free Code Camp YouTube channel, uh, Program with Eric, Ricky Garcia, you know, these are all software channels that I went out and I created content to help support the software community. I also did contract work for my old workplace, you know. That was something that I took time and energy to do and help them out. So that's another accomplishment. Doing contract work for an old employer is not only a, a good way to make a few extra bucks, but it also, to me, says that you left on a good note. They were happy with your quality of work. So that was something I accomplished this year as well. I also collaborated with a ton of different software organizations. We have the Bug Squasher, Hacksaw Academy, Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp, Device Plus, Coder.org, WebDoc.io, Glowhost, and there's probably some that I forgot. Those are all the more recent ones that come to mind. To me, that's important because you're you're contributing, right? You're your, your networking, your, I consider accomplishments, even though most of them are like, oh, I made sponsored content or I, I, I talked with these people, I interviewed them, whatever it may be. But these were all, all people that I, I've networked with. And I, I think that's networking is an accomplishment in itself. I went to over 10 meetups, right? I always tell you guys to go to meetups. Meetups are something, one of the great ways that you can network yourself into a role, make connections, make friends, have fun, enjoy yourself. And uh, I tried to go to one a month on average. I, I hit a little short of my goal, 
but I, uh, I did go to about 10 this year and I'd like to do a little bit more. I also went to a data science hackathon. That's where I got this shirt. And although I, uh, I only stayed for about four hours because I realized that I was completely out of my league, completely out of my element, and no one would put me on their team because they didn't need a front-end developer, <laughs> uh, I did go. I, I put myself out there. I, I tried to have some fun, network. It's, you know, not every, not every accomplishment is a success. Sometimes the success of life is just going and trying new things and seeing what happens. And half the time it's a failure in terms of you being able to be successful there. Yeah, you may have failed, but there may be some success criteria to that as well. And in my case, it was, hey, I went out to hackathon. I, I, uh, I tried to have some fun and got some free food and showed April what a hackathon's like. I took her with me and and show her, you know, another side of me, if you want to think of it that way. And, uh, you know, got uh, got dumpstered. But <laughs> it was something that I consider a success. On a professional note, I have I got promoted in a, a salary increase. You know, those are part of all these things that we're talking about. How do you get promoted? How do you get a salary increase? How do you accomplish these things? Well, a lot of hard work, right? We're talking about just a year of we've been able to, to accomplish so that a lot of these things all add into that. So I've also started writing a book, 10,000 words. Uh, this is a relatively recent thing for the last month or so. But I'm 10,000 words into a 200 to 400,000 word book. You know, that's something that I consider an accomplishment. Although it's a incomplete accomplishment, the act of starting and going and continuing to do it is something I think is an accomplishment. On At my work, I've become a member of the hackathon committee. So. I think that's an accomplishment. I'm going out of my way to throw a hackathon on at my work, as well as become, I was nominated to be the leader of the testing and test-driven development committee. So I'm, I'm very hands-on into that. Uh, I'm helping facilitate that, which is additional responsibility and allows me to, to help affect the company in a positive light for both those. So those are the, my, my girlfriend added, don't forget to tell them how you went to college and then immediately dropped out of college. I was like, thanks baby. So that's another thing I did. And we could, we could say that I think that's an accomplishment as well because for the longest time I was mentally worried about having a degree or not having a degree rather. It was always on my mind. You know, the $3,700 I spent on tuition was money well spent for me not to have to ever think about it again. Uh, so <laughs> that was something that uh, I will consider an accomplishment. And like I said earlier, not every success is going to be in the traditional sense, right? Much like the hackathon, much like going back to college, I found the success maybe not that I was looking for, but the one that I needed, I suppose, like like Batman. Uh, but uh, so that's what I've accomplished in the last 365 days as my in my second year as a developer from year one to year two from the skills to the accomplishments it has been a fantastic year i am uh, very happy with what i personally have accomplished and i've been working very hard to continue to move forward so every year i like to set some goals and accomplishments and or goals and and things i want to accomplish this year was a much of more of a higher level overview i wanted to build courses i wanted to read books i wanted to up my code level which is something i didn't really talk about you know part of reading these books was learning how to write cleaner more maintainable code and upping the quality of my code which is something i accomplished this year as well so what's next year what do i want to accomplish for next year well i have a few things i want to speak at some meetups i put out hundreds of videos quite literally i think we're around 800 videos on this channel i want to go and talk at some meetups I also want to finish up my book. I'm giving myself till the end of, till about November 2019 to finish up my book, maybe to the end of the year, but I want to come close to finishing my book. I want to attend at least one conference and I of course want to continue working on the YouTube channel. So this next year will be about in-person presentations. This will be about finishing a book and this will be about attending conferences and then I don't really know that I want to put continue YouTube channel as things because I, I just consider that a part of my life now. But those are three major things that I'm going to try and accomplish moving forward this year. I wanted to share that with you because I think, I think we did good this year. I'm very happy with, with what we've been able to do. I share this because a lot of times people want to know where I'm at, what you can accomplish, if you can be successful without a degree and things like that. And I think, I think if you see what you can do with hard work, you can be very successful without a degree and you can be very successful with a degree. But 
this was what I accomplished this year. I'm very happy with it. And I would love to know what you guys are going to accomplish. And if you guys happen to know something I forgot, because I was trying to rack my brain while I was making this list about the last 15 minutes before this video. <laughs> Probably left a few things. Remind me in the comments below if you remember. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. I wish you the best in however your years of development have been going. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to check out my 100 algorithm challenge course, get you prepped for those technical interviews to make sure you get nice offers. I, I actually just added some new content to it so you can get prepared for those technical phone screens as well. There's a link in the description to get it for just $9.99.